This is Adam Jada with the St. Louis Post Dispatch. I'm going to jump in here with a press availability with Congressman Holzhoff. For uh, money out of the classroom for teacher salaries, and yet, have you had a, a? I mean, what is the answer? What answer has he given you about how the 320 something million dollars? Where does it come from? It's not a matter of budget priorities. When we start out 40 million dollars in in the red, where do those monies come from? Again, our ideas we put forward and potential ways to pay for them, you know, through Missouri Health, uh, Health Foundation, health foundations, or uh, moving hospital payments around. Again, our proposals we've come up with ways to to actually get payment without raising taxes. Uh, I think the Attorney General owes us that much to explain to us. As you come down to the wire, are you worried at all about the King's decision to put? money from the get out the vote effort into television time? Not necessarily. I mean, we, uh, again, just right now, it's such a strong volunteer effort. And this 72-hour program, which uh, the Republican Party here in our state, we've, I don't want to say perfected, because every we, we fine-tune it, but for many elections now, we've had just a really good, strong grassroots effort. Uh, this is not just something that happens the last weekend. It's something that's been months in the making, where we're identifying uh, conservative voters or those that are undecided, and then we follow up uh, trying to make sure they get out to the polls on Tuesday. And so this is uh, something that we've, we've really fine-tuned over the last several elections. So we will be able to have that ground effort uh, to supplement uh, what Senator McCain is doing as far as his ad campaign is concerned. I know you're not focusing too much on the polls, but that being said, if, polls. if, if, if they... If the numbers show you've got some ground to make up, so I'm just wondering, beyond the get out the vote, what, what if anything, can you do in this last 72 well, hours? And, and what we're doing. I mean, we've, we've been aggressively traveling around the state of Missouri, and really enthusiastic groups like this, uh, small groups, large groups. We were, believe it or not, in Monroe City, in a small little town in Monroe County. Uh, it was, I think, the only county that went for George McGovern for president in 1972. 300 people. Uh, that were just excited on fire as a fundraiser. I mean, so we're seeing that sort of effort. Um, and, and so we want to fan the flames. You know, I mean, we need that sort of aggressive effort. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I haven't seen much of uh, my opponent as far as this grassroots effort of, of I think he's fairly content with just uh, air war. Um, that's not our approach. Our approach is to just pound the pavement and make sure that uh, the votes that are necessary to win, we turn those votes out four days from now. Could you talk about the labor effort, though? Labor unions are putting hundreds of people in. I think, uh, and Senator Obama, again, the, the paid people that are that are on the ground. Uh, but, you know, again, that we'll, we'll match them uh, door knocker for door knocker. I mean, you know, the, the volunteer effort, and uh, we know where – those uh, those rich precincts are rich in the sense of voters, uh, conservative voters. Turnout's going to be high, and uh, which is a good thing. You know, we want to certainly make sure that uh, every lawful Missourian casts his or her vote, and we hope that every vote is lawful uh, as it's being cast. And so, all of that effort as well. So, uh, it's important. It's an important election, not just for our state, but for our country. I don't know how how familiar you are with the the details of this project. Seventy two hours. Do you know about the neighbors and two or three contacts? And uh, yes. t tell us why you think that matters to have a neighbor and somebody who's. Tell us why that's important. Well, it, it's just as uh, you know, if you get a call from someone who's not from a community or a paid volunteer, for instance, from out of state, uh, you don't have that personal connection. Uh, as opposed to, uh, I know everyone in our neighborhood in Columbia, and. Uh, you know, we've helped put out yard signs in our neighborhood, and so I know, you know, where the where the Holsaw voters are, and we will make sure, for instance, that we turn out our neighborhood to vote. Uh, and sometimes it may just mean, uh, hey, do you need a ride to the polls? It may be something as simple as, uh, you know, let's, you know, don't forget, and the polls are open, and your precinct is, you know, at the firehouse. I mean, all of those things, especially coming from someone that you know and trust. Uh, means a lot more than when you just have someone that you don't know, some paid, some paid person that's trying to do the same thing. This is Adam John with the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Uh, for more coverage through now through the election, go to stltoday.com/politics.